Hello, everybody. Uh, today we will try to do experiments related to cavitation. Uh, this, by this device, we, we, uh, I want to show uh, cavitation, uh, how cavitation occurs, and also uh, how uh, the uh, pump speed or, or velocity affects, uh, also temperature affects uh, cavitation. Uh, there is a reservoir here, as you see. Here there is a valve. Uh, we can uh, adjust the uh, the discharge or flow rate by using this vein. Uh, here there is a manometer, it um, measures the pressure, uh, input pressure. Here uh, there is a centrifugal pump, and uh, here we will see, we can see, it's, it's transparent as you see. Uh, we can observe, we will observe the cavitation here. And there is a manometer here, this is for delivery pressure, measuring delivery pressure, and this is a vein for. Um, adjusting the deliberate uh, flow rate to see uh, when close this you can see the pump height pump height here from uh, this manometer and uh, here uh, you see there are some monitors uh, this monitor shows the speed of pump uh, with rpm revolution per minute and this is uh, this uh, indicates the uh, flow rate uh, by moving this you can see the flow rate uh, volume here and this is a speed of pump you can adjust speed of pump by this and this is an open uh, pump uh, you can active uh, you can make active by using this and this is switch on switch off and this is for temperature increase by this is heater if you open heater and you can adjust the temperature from here and it can heat the water and you can observe the effect of temperature to cavitation. Okay, that's all uh, for explanation. That's enough for explanation. Now we can start our experiment. Uh, first, uh, I will start uh, by pump. Now you will see our pump uh, is working. Thanks to the pump, is working. And uh, uh, this is close, and uh, we don't have uh, flow rate here. As this is zero. So I will open it. And you observe uh, when you increase the flow rate, also increase velocity means I increase velocity. Okay, you uh, now you will observe that I increase speed of centimeter bar over here. Now you can observe some cavitation there. Can you see uh, the bubbles? Uh, yeah. Some bubbles and some uh, sound. Sound. Can you hear that? Now you can observe better because cavitation is higher now. You see, cavitation is higher and bubbles. You can see that bubbles. Those bubbles. Uh, those bubbles are very. Really uh, dangerous for uh, structure, especially in uh, turbines and also pumps, uh, metallic materials. It can uh, it can make corrosion by time. Okay, and, so this, and then also you can see the uh, input uh, pressure. There, there is a suction, as you see, zero nearly zero uh, zero point uh, eight. Uh, minus 0 0.8 as you say, bar, as bar. So uh, by changing discharge here or velocity uh, amount, you can observe the effect of uh, velocity to uh, cavitation. Here you see. Also, also we can observe the uh, effect of speed to cavitation by increasing the speed of. Uh, Artificial pump. As you see here, 
Iron Queen is destroyed. And you say Nucleus Cavitation. Nucleus comes to it means Nucleus in Cavitation. You say it. This is also here you can see some problem here. Okay. Also I want to show my uh, nose in this part, the pump head. Now you can see it. You can observe the pump head here. This is also part. This is the delivery part. So, okay, as you see, yeah, uh, more than one bar, means 10, more than uh, maybe 12 uh, meters higher, uh, it can move this uh, bit, uh, 4 liter per minute uh, flow rate, yeah, this uh, discharge can be uh, pushed uh, by this pressure now. Now it's increasing, as you see. Okay, we can observe also uh, the delivery pressure by using this. And also from here, we can observe. Okay, again, calculation starts. You see. Now you see the cavitation gap. And also you see this uh, but, uh, manometer. Uh, negative, maybe minimum. Approximately. It's now again, if it, if it decreases, uh, pump speed again we can observe what happens you see by decreasing uh, motor speed or uh, pump speed as you see it is normal now yeah you see the speed uh, yeah from 3400 to 2500 then no problem please and also uh, we can observe temperature effect but uh, it needs much time to heat. Uh, if you open here, and you can uh, adjust the temperature here, then you can wait uh, its uh, heating. And then, uh, if you do this, if you do this, you will observe that increasing temperature will increase cavitation. Okay, you will observe uh, temperature because we uh, increase the evaporation of water. So it uh, causes more cavitation. Okay. Thank you.